Hello and welcome to today's stream. Wait, desktop audio. Let me see. Oh. Man, Millennia ate shit in the reviews. Luckily, that streamer support will save it on the sales. Bro, the IGN, I read the IGN review. That's the only review I saw. The person was playing the game wrong. They're making their cities really close to each other and they're trying to play it like Civ 6. And that person had the worst take. Oh, I really love the district system in Civ 6, bro. I absolutely dis. I, I hate this district system in Civ 6. Me personally, here, let's get the camera going. Um, me personally, guys, I very much dislike that system. I don't, I don't like the district system. I feel like you have to plan out your districts for industrial age all the way in the first age. That's like one thing I like about, uh, I believe Lena was being okay. Maybe she was. I don't know, like, in this game, you can keep switching things around. Like, you can switch around the city management a lot. Even. I'm missing! Five, six, yeah, we all agree on that one. I don't think I've met a single. Actually, I know one person that likes Civ Five more than I mean Civ Six. Okay, so we did already win a game. Um, if you're watching this on Twitch. We won a game yesterday playing as uh, USA. We did uh, Raiders into, um, into Khan, Horse Archers. Um, today, we're going to go for a tall play style. We're just going to do random. I'm still debating what is the best bonus. I'm thinking food or production. Could be good. Start with additional improvement points. Start with additional warfare XP. I think starting with additional food is good. Starting out with an extra scout could be good too. Because you find settlements faster. But I think food. If we're going for a tall play style. I think we're going to go with the food. The starting scout is good. I actually originally thought the starting scout was always the best option when I first started playing. Food is bad. Automatically. Let's do the scout. I'm going to listen to chat. Let's do the scout. I'm going to listen to chat today. Let's do the shout, uh, scout. There's no Arabs. This is actually my least favorite thing about the game. Why is there no Arabs? Where is the Arabian Empire? They have freaking Sweden. But there's no Arabs, bro. Are you Muslim? Yes. Alhamdulillah, we're fasting for Ramadan. Me, me and my family, we're all Muslim. My wife is Muslim too. Um, I don't know who to play as. Let's just do random. There's no Arabs, bro. There's actually no Arabs. Okay, let me get the ring light. It gets dark. This always messes up, though. I don't know why. All right. Is Persia not Arab? No, Persia is not Arab, dude. <laughs> Persia is not Arab, bro. 
There's no Arabs. There's actually no Arabs. My biggest gripe with this game is that there's no Arabs. Oh well, we'll just do random starting unit scout. We're gonna go for a tall play style today, guys. I think we'll do like four regions max. We're gonna do tall, we're gonna go for a different type of victory. We've also upped the difficulty by one level. Yesterday we won on Adept. Today we're going to go to Master. Oh, we're the Aztecs. Not really the most fitting for a tall play style. I mean, why not? What do you consider Memluks as Arabs? I think modern day Egyptians are pretty much Arab. And that started, that stuff happened before the Arab conquest of Egypt, despite what people will tell you. But Egyptians also do have unique um, gene pool and gene type. Believe it or not. Let's rush scouting. So I think like the opening is best to rush scouting because of the free scout units. You get, you can find all the tribal camps everywhere. And yeah, we're also going to build a scout unit. So three scout units. Like I said, three scout units is a good start. Um, but I would say that Egypt's were, even before the, Mus the Muslim, like, empires, Egypt was already Arabizing. On. Okay, we found our first one. We can get a Warfare XP or Warband. Let's get a Warband. I think the AI, this game is going to be quite aggressive because we're not going to be going Raiders. We're not going to have so many units. Actually, in our last game, they didn't attack a single time. Um, uh, you have to also remember the Mamluks didn't even consider themselves Arabs. As a matter of fact, Mamluks is a... What is the term? Mamluks is a term made by historians, right? Mamluks is a historical term. Uh, the Mamluks didn't call themselves the Mamluks. The Mamluks called themselves Dawlat al-Atraq. Dawlat al-Atraq, which means... Um, which means, uh, nation of the Turks. Believe it or not. Okay, really good start. We found already two tribal things. We got, uh, we got a boost to research. We got also a little bit of tribe. We can go a little bit of food here in our homeland to get our food production up. I'm gonna, I already found a barbarian camp. So we're going to get our dudes together here and wait for this guy here. Meanwhile, we're gonna move around with our scouts. I do want to find the monument so we can get into the Age of Heroes. But it's going to be quite difficult. The question is here, what are we going to build? Uh, what are we going to build next? I'm going to go with workers next uh, here. But what are we going to build on our homeland next? We can go for the influence. We can go for the town center to get more government points. I think I'm going to go, I'm going to go for that after the scouts. Uh, well, the, the, the Mamluks were a ruling class. There were ex-warrior slaves that became the ruling class of Egypt. That's where the name Mamluks come from. They come from the, the, the slave soldiers. Okay, let's start. Town. I always go with the town here. Um, I don't like our start. I actually really don't like our start. Go with the town here. I think it's going to do one. Mamluks were Turk slaves. Not just Turk slaves. They were also Circassian. They're also Circassian. Yeah, I think we're re-rolling. I already don't like our start. I'm going to re-roll. I really don't like the start. There's not a lot of starting resources here. Not enough uh, goods. This is a restart angle, guys. Woo! Are you a Mamluk? No, I'm not. Uh, Fool01, I gave a comprehensive uh, thoughts on this game in yesterday's stream. If you want, if you don't want to watch the VOD, that's totally fair. But I'm releasing a YouTube video sometime between now and Friday where I cover my first victory in this game and my thoughts about this game, comparing it to Civilization, uh, specifically Civilization because it's a 4X game. But we also talk about Humankind, Old World, and Age of Wonder. Um, 
Um, I'm sorry, I'm not going to go into details now about the game. Uh, overall, I'd say I gave it a 7.1 out of 10. I'll just do a quick start. Oh, no, we can't do a quick start because it's going to choose a random map start. Uh, custom. Medium. This game is a little control C, control V. I disagree. I think it has a lot of unique stuff compared to Civ 6. There are shared factors, but they're literally the same genre. And Civilization 4X is different than almost every other game genre. And that Civilization is so dominant in this genre. Sid Meier's Civilization is so dominant in this genre that anytime you make a 4X game, Civilization gets put into the picture. Even Stellaris. Polaris is like a space 4X game. People compare that game to Civilization literally all the time. Is there Poland? There is no Poland. All right, start number two. I think if we're going to go for mound builders, right? We want, um, what do we, can we build mounds on? I actually kind of forgot already. Ooh, I did not want to do that. I kind of messed up my start already. Scout, scouting, and let's look. Is mounds, can they only be built on hills? No, I don't think so. I think for a tall play style, mound builders is the best. The mound builders. Mound building, though, is it... What, what What group is it in? I I honestly forgot. That's not good. Grassland. Okay, we have a lot of grasslands here. Okay, that's good. One second. I'm going to just do a quick thing, chat. I'm just going to go open up my other save to, so I can see some things. I, I don't know. Some things. It is, it, I, I see Stellaris kind of in the same light as Civilization, my brother. It's different than other 4X games, but a lot of, there's a lot of similarities to 4X games. Mound Builders is engineering. God King Dynasty. I don't know. Like, let's see. Let, I'm I'm curious what we're going to do for, like, a tall play here. Like I said, I haven't done anything related to a tall play style yet. I haven't played tall. Only play style I've played in this game so far is, like, a domination-focused gameplay. And by the way, uh, we're going back to the Mamluk discussion. I wouldn't call Mam Egypt Turkish. They called themselves the nation of the Turks, but there was the Turks were a very small percentage of the population. They were just the ruling class. And sometimes they were even Circassian, the Mamluks. So it wasn't just Turks. I think they just like were vibing with the Turks at the time. Other oh, warrior, that's good. Create a town. Is this a reroll? Dang, is this a reroll? We have wheat here. I 
I think that's kind of one of the issues with this game is that I think if you go into the game kind of being like, I'm going to play this play style, then you're going to have to re-roll until you get a good start for that play style. Um, ideally, going into the game, you open up the game and you look at your start and you play based off your start. I'm starting to look at this and this might be a re-roll angle. Uh, I'm Lebanese. Vborn, if you want to know more information about me, uh, there's a frequently asked questions down below. There's a lot of details in there. It's a reroll, bro. I'm Lebanese. Sorry, I'm a little drunk. You're good. You're good. You're good. I, you're a new viewer. I'm just... Uh, Telling you if you have like, there's a lot of stuff in there. You know what? I'm just going to go with it even if it's a bad roll. I don't want to just sit here re-rolling because I don't even have that much time to play. We have about two hours and a half until it's time to break fast. So that's how long today's stream is going to be, guys. It's a short stream. I told you guys yesterday I'll be playing an evening P Pacific Standard Time. It's 4.30 right now. Uh, Iftar or the time to break fast is at 7. You know what, bro? Don't read the fact. I'll answer all your questions. Just for you, bro. Um, Pangea. Let's go. Uh, can I make... Yeah, you can make any node the highest value in EU4. All right, we roll number three. Uh, and I'm already liking the start. Yeah, this is the start. This is the start. This is the start. I've talked about it before, though. Um, yeah, like... I think ideally you'd play the game based off your start. That would be the ideal way to play this game. But if you want to play a certain way... It feels like a bit like you have to re-roll a bit, you know? Other scout, let's go. Lots of scouts. Barb camp. Nice. Settler. This is the this is the start. Ooh, nice. Okay, we killed that guy. Move this guy here, move this here, and then explore this way. Okay, we're gonna expand this city into this direction. We're gonna go like that. Do Warfare XP here. Get food. Alright, this is the start. This is the start. Go, f We go town like this. I'm going to do another warband to clear the barb camps, guys. I think that's a good... Because there's two barb camps nearby. I like to do three scouts. I'm keeping to my old tradition of the last game of doing three scouts. Government XP here. I'm getting the tech, but you know, improvement points is still good. Uh, move up like this. Not finding in a lot of uh, natural wonders or monuments or whatever they're called. And that's scouting done. We'll go into workers next. And we'll have this guy go up north. So now we're scouting in every direction. We're up to four scouts because we got a scout from a camp. Good. Oh, and then we found the Egyptians already. And go like this. Okay, there's a camp right there. Then move this guy here. This guy will attack. Let's see how we go do. Open the door. Open the door. Let me in.
Yeah, scouting is so important in this game. You get so much from these camps. I mean, I mean, I was debating the bonuses. I, I did innovation on my last victory. Innovation start? Innovation from your capital? It's, it's okay. Like, right now, we would be gaining innovation if we got it. I think we have to wait, guys, until our other warrior comes. Um, I'm going to go with the Dolmen, more influence. I think it's going to be kind of important here. I think this guy's not budging, so we're just going to have to go like this. If he attacks into the town, it's good because the town has a bonus. Yeah, you see, we killed him because the town has a guy in there. So we can bring this guy down and then heal this a little bit. Actually, we broke the walls. Oh, we did it. Uh, five knowledge. Let's do knowledge. Worker's done. I give us our boost. Do farming now. Um, that does mean that we can do forester here. That's going to increase production. Boom. Good start. I'm already liking the start a lot. More knowledge. Yeah, more knowledge. Let's just rush knowledge. Uh, another war band. I'll take that. You know, normally, if I was doing uh, another game where I was doing raiders, I would be taking the warfare XP because you know you want when you take raiders, you want to have all of that warfare XP already banked up so you can rush through ra raiders. But we're doing a tall playstyle today, and that means something different than what we were doing yesterday. Uh, government XP. It's gonna give us. We'll go for the knowledge here. The plus one knowledge. That's actually gonna be one. Um. Move out like this. This guy right here. This guy's also stuck. No. Uh, move him like that. And keep this guy here. Um, bring this guy to the town. I like that we're already connected here. And let's try to go around like this to get this. I don't think we're having an Age of Heroes, guys. I don't think Age of Heroes is happening. The reason why I say that I've only found one thing so far. You need three to go to that to do that. I'm going to do I'm just I'm not gonna rush Age of Bronze, there's no point. I'll do defenses and then tribal. Uh defenses is gonna give us a free um archer. Then tribal will give us the tribal building, the council building, which will give us more tech. Yeah, Age of Heroes might be bad for tall play. I'm gonna build another scout. Already really good starts. We're already doing so much through our trees. Um, we're boosting through tech already. We can do the other age, but I'm going to go defenses tribal. Just saying how it's age of heroes is not going to happen. I want to showcase it to you guys because it's my favorite age. But um, according to a chatter, it's not the best for tall play anyway. So we'll listen to this chatter. This is my top, top, top chatter when it comes to millennia. He was here the entire, most of my America game that I streamed, I think. Might be mixing you up with someone else, my guy. My bad. Uh, that's Deep Forest. Move these guys back here. Well, then these guys here. Heal them. Good start so far. Good start so far. We're building a dolmen for more influence so our city grows faster. I'm liking this start. A lot of neutral cities, actually. Interesting. I might have to kill them. Add their population to my city. Alright. Um, I think actually I might kill these cities. And just add their populations. Just go around, kill them, and add their populations to my city. That's going to create so much. <sighs> Ooh, money is a big issue. Money is a big issue. Uh-oh. What do I do here? I actually don't even ha know what happens when you run out of money in this game. I'm going to have to get rid of some of these war bands. Unfortunate. I could have suicided this guy into here and then at least we'd do some progress. That would probably have been the better play, but we're running out of money. 
I was not paying attention to that at all. Hopefully we find something. We can name this here. That's going to give us some exploration XP. And then we'll just do the elders uh, things. Yeah, it just doesn't really make sense to rush that, you know. Uh, it's like you're not going to even have the production to get a council early. It doesn't even give that much science. Or sorry, knowledge. Knowledge. It's not science. It's knowledge. Move this guy here, and I'll move these guys to over here. It's going to take some while because they're going to have to go through hills. Money? Archer. Warfare XP. We'll just go with the Warfare XP. Um, let's try to explore like down like this, maybe. Money? There we go. Money. All right, that fixes our money problems. How am I playing the game early? Paradox um, likes me, so they give me their games early. They give me City Skylines early too, but I didn't play it. I feel bad. Oh well. We can't produce another town. We could do Eureka. We can also do a local reforms. I'm just going to do that. Local reforms. It's just going to boost the city for five turns, I believe. Something. We can also... We're probably going to want one clay pit, so... Oh, I just built the wrong thing. Ill issued. I, I I built a farm when there's literally grassland here. I want to build a mound here. Undo? Where's the undo button? Wait, there's an undo button? <gasps> there's an undo button! Yeah, you get the clay pit early because it gives improvement buttons. There's literally an undo button. I mean, yeah, Paradox, literally, I have the relationship now with Paradox. They send, give me every game three weeks early. I've had this game for three weeks. I've only played 40 hours, though. I don't have the time to play the games as much as I want, dude. And I've only had permission to stream this game starting the 23rd. So, I got the game super early. Could only play since the 23rd. It's only one thing undo. The one undo future is actually really cool. I just learned about the undo feature. Look, you can undo. What did I just undo? Oh, wow. That's a cool feature. It's only one turn undo, though. Reminds me of Photoshop. Kind of cheesy, though. You can go like this and then undo to try to look for, like, the best thing. Oh, it only undoes one tile. Okay, 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 okay. It doesn't undo the entire thing. All right, that makes sense. I did not know about the undo feature, dude. Very cool. We don't need this. This is a waste. We'll just save for that. 10 innovation. Our capital's doing really good. I think now we can do how we're doing on food. Uh, we're going to afford a farm soon, so we don't need, we don't need the food stockpile. How we're we doing on region level, we're fine. We'll do the council for more tech cost. I mean, we could probably also do an archer so we can go around killing these cities and adding their pops to my capital. You know what? I think I'm going to do something different this time. I think I'm not going to go for the council. Maybe I'm debating right now. Should I go for the council or do I spawn a bunch of archers Kill all of these cities and add them to my capital. Big population boost, but a lot of chaos. I'm now debating. I'm debating in my head. You're, you, you, now's your time to give your input, chat. Did I not build anything? Did I just not build anything? No, I'm putting into council. <sighs> I, I'm going to go for the council and then I'll build the archers. Get the tech boost. One tech is it's something, you know? 
did something. Yeah, there. Um, some winner, my my beloved, some winner. Um, I did my I like I'll just keep it short. Seven point one out of ten. Seven point one out of ten is my rating for this game. Seven point one out of ten. I I am releasing um sometime before Saturday. I'm releasing a full comprehensive video of my first victory in this game. It's going to be about a 40 minute long video. Where I could go from the beginning to the end and show my first victory in this game. I did a conquest victory. Um, I go into details uh, in the video about what I do like and what I don't like. Uh, what can be improved, what I'm looking forward in the game in the future. You know what? Uh, put you here and you... You lock, you lock here, because we have food, so we're fine. When we get the next pop, we'll go on the farm, which we'll get in nine turns. One second, I'm a bit curious. If we get, unlock this, lock this, unlock this, put them on food. Does it make my city grow faster? It does. Two turns instead of eight. Let's do that instead. It would reduce my production, but I think it's worth Question is how we're we gonna get engineering. We're gonna have to build cranes. That guy's gonna steal that. Yeah, cats tend to hate those kind of things. This guy already has a second city. Kind of scary. But we are playing on a harder difficulty. Feel bad deleting the warband, but we were about to get a random unit deleted anyways, and I didn't want to lose a scout. I think it was the right play. Oh my god, look how many troops the Egyptians already have. Okay, the difficulty is already ramped up. Holy moly. Okay, there's a big difference between the difficulty. He's moving no to me, I think. Yeah, Age of Bronze. Lost my archer. War band. How do we get engineering points for mound builders? That's the real question now. How are we going to do that? I'm not sure. I could build another settler, but I can also do culture and homeland innovation. I like innovation, so I'm going to do this, and now we save for a settler. We save for two settlers, and we build three cities. I'm kind of wishing now we spammed archers. All right. Now, we're gone to the second age. I was debating building a bunch of archers to go around killing all these cities and adding them to my pops. Which I think I'm still going to do. I just stopped by and built a council before. But I'm kind of regretting it a little bit. I'll be honest. Because we could have built two archers by the point we built one council. And council only gives one knowledge. Uh, to be fair, that is a 30... What is that? 25% increase from 3 to 4. A 33% increase. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go for mound builders here, guys. Mound builders unlocks the ability to build burial mounds. We need to figure out a way now to get engineering points so we can go through burial mounds. In my opinion, if we're going for a tall play style, I think the best thing to do is mound builders. Mound builders focus on using unique improvements to support high population regions. So yeah, we're trying to make these really high population regions. Burial mounds give sanitation. The uh, farms are less construction. We can build the burial mound, which is a improvement that makes culture. Our capital gets regional level, which means we can get more pops. I think this is the build if you want to go for like a pure tall play style, it's mound builders. But now I need to figure out a way to get engineering. There's got to be like a building that gives engineering. I'm going to try to find it real quick. Crane only gives impro improvements. Oh, 
Saw pit. Gives engineering. So we found one building, the saw pit. It gives engineering. Oh, a kiln converts clay into bricks. Oh, this is how you do it. This is how you do it. Because saw pit requires three logs. And uh, this only produces one log. So you would need three... You would need three uh, foresters for one saw pit. However, um, a, a, ki a kiln... Or uh, where is it? Where is the kiln? A kiln takes one clay and improves it into bricks and gives engineering. So that's what we're going to do to get engineering points. We're going to make kilns. There we go. That's the play. Community it is. And let's see what chat says. Engineering, take community, saw pit, and kilns is the way you get it. Okay. We're on the same page. I'm gonna return this guy back home. I don't want to lose my scouts. They're pretty valuable. That guy here. Or this way. I think that's the play. That also rhymed. Gonna heal a little bit before we go again. Go with more knowledge. I think I'm gonna spam local reforms. What do you think? I mean, until we can support more towns, right? Why do we have a guy here? Huh? Because it produces food as well. Doesn't really matter. I'm not going to spend the improvement points because I want to build a kiln right away. We'll let him work there. We'll help our city grow faster. Now, now that we've like rushed through the tribal... We're now getting innovation gain. Now that we've rushed that, it's time to build settlers. Like I said, I think we're going to build two cities. We're probably going to build like a city over here. We want to build our cities pretty far apart from each other because they're going to get a lot of influence. Probably like a city down here and a city like all the way over here. So then it's like these three cities. I'm probably going to kill all these cities and then build a fourth city here. And then I'm just going to stay on four cities all game and see how that goes. I think four cities is a good four cities. Yeah, four cities. I need to now make an army so I can go around killing all of these cities. And that's what I've begun. I'm building archers to do that. Unlike doing raiders, I actually have to build army this time. So you're saying I should eat cities. Maybe I eat Salvador. Maybe I eat Salvador, Adernay, and Los Angeles. Oh, Los Angeles looks sick. And then I make Getsko, I just add the pops. Yeah, um, since we only have one town... Oh, I didn't use my culture bonus. Oops. Whoopsies. Um, yeah, I'm going to just do local reforms. Local reforms. Wait, what does cutting edge do? Increase the innovation accumulated every turn. Plus 10 innovation. What is the Cahoka Mounds? Oh, 
I didn't know that was a thing. Just gonna go with local reforms here, guys. Okay. Now we're going to build the kiln. Very nice. We're already producing some more hammers. Because now we're producing, we're producing more production. And we're also producing engineering points. Which is good for our mound builders. I think we're going to spam food, clay pits, and kilns. And then use that to spam mounds. I think that's the play here. I'm uh, assuming because, guys, you know, I have less than 50 hours. Someone, like, will probably watch this in the future and be like, eh, you're doing the wrong build because people always do that, dude. Someone literally did that today. They went out looked at one of my guides from two years ago and they said, you need to remake this guide. All this information doesn't hold up. <laughs> What do we make? Let's do with mining. What do we go actually? Temple, we can get more knowledge and culture. Go with belief. Well, I'm not going to be building. Let's go actually. Let's do discipline. Actually, let's do discipline. Discipline. Yeah, not mining. I was thinking mining so I can get the free pioneer, but it's not worth. I hurt. I think that guy just wants an updated guide of Sweden. He just wants an updated Sweden guide. Okay, I think it's time to have a pop working here. This is flax. Wine. I think it's a pasture angle here. Yikes. Need another archer. Kind of stuck here. <laughs> Social contract. Oh no, it's a warlord. Uh, Rip Scout, I just healed you. I could have done the undo actually. Oh my god. Well, at least we got mound builders. Unlocks burial mound. There's nowhere to build a burial mound. <laughs> Our city will grow soon. Right? But you can build mounds on grapes. Okay, this is an interesting proposition. We have wine here. Grapes. Someone in my chat is saying I can build build this on the grapes.
I didn't think you could just build on random resources. I mean, the other option is a plantation on grapes, which just gives more wealth. But then if this gets worked, it will give two culture and grapes and wo and wealth? That is interesting. That is interesting. Very, very interesting. The city's growing pretty nicely now, too. And... Yeah, I like this. I like this. I like what we're doing here. Nice suggestion. I have a backseater that I really like here. <laughs> He's played the demo. The heck out of the demo. Ooh, Germany declared hostilities. What the heck, dude? Ouch. Archers kind of stink, guys. Maybe they'll accept declaring neutrality. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Restore neutrality. They're going to say no because they're more powerful than us. You have to be strong in this game or you just get bullied by AIs. You have to be a strong boy. Where is... Wait, where is the one improvement point per turn without being worked? Where is that? Mound tradition level 2? No, that's this one. Oh, the innovation. Oh. Well, I can't control which innovation I get. <laughs> I can't control which innovation I get, dude. So why no settler, right? What are we gonna else are we gonna spend our government points on? Rejected, told you guys. Hey, Dark Knight, Salam, Walaikum Salam, Habibi. There's so many barbarians everywhere. I'm going to raise the army here, chat. I think it's time for us to mobilize the men. That guy can do the rest. Are we going to mobilize? We're going for El Salvador. Let's go. We can actually upgrade those guys. I probably should have done that. That guy's dead. What we can do is we can do reinforcements. Reinforcements have arrived. And then upgrade, upgrade. And this guy home. That's a smart idea. I like that idea. Right away, we got enough troops here. I'm not going to take this, by the way. That's a waste. But we're going to... I'm not actually not going to buy settlers. What I'm going to do is I think I'm going to... I'm going to destroy... I'm going to take El Salvador... I'm going to put Getsko into my capital. I'm going to take Adirne. And I'm going to take Los Angeles. I'm not going to build settlers. I'm going to save up the government points so we can use them in the next age. Um, but besides that, I think we're making a good progress to our burial mounds. It's not being worked right now, but there's better options right now. Uh, let's try it. Let's get a pasture here. A pasture is good. 
Pastures are gonna give us more food. We're not growing as fast as we need to be though. Let's do a food stockpile next then here. There is an innovation that we're about to get. Hopefully we get something good here. Oh, rip. Oh, rip. Oh, we lived. Give me something good. Give me something good. Give me something good. I'll take the wealth. I'll take the wealth. Get our armies moving forward here. A lot of archers, chat. Nice. That's another one right there. Eel, 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 eel. Dang, this is a thick rainforest. So sick. Yeah, Derne is going to go down. Turks and chat are, are so sad. Get this army over here. Oh, we can get a general too. That's good. Spawn chariots. Mind if I do? Yeah, I'm not going to build settlers. Okay, let's do this as well. We need the innovation now. I'm being told there's an innovation that you get engineering points from burial mounds. Without them being worked. That would be ideal. That's why I'm spending the points on the burial mounds. If we're going to get a bunch of engineering points from burial mounds, we can rush through the burial mound tree, get the sanitation, get the region level, get the, get the, the food, get the mound level 2. Come on, innovation. Come on, innovation, chat. We need your praises and chat. I need your praises and chat. Aztec. What people as are you playing as? I assume Native American because of the name of the city. We're Aztecs. We're doing uh, mound building. Uh, this The nations don't really matter. Who you play as don't really matter at all. They're just names. They're, they're just names, which if you play Civ, you might not like at all. But for me, I don't care. I like it. El Salvador. Time to do this. Salvador... Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Ooh, an undiscovered land. I could do Age of Heroes. Could. I don't know if I will, though. I have no mines. Like, the mining doesn't make sense to take. Officials. Officials could be good. Let's just go Age of Iron, guys. Next age. <gasps> I'm going I'm coming back once I end. The AIs are all going to declare hostilities on me because I don't have... Uh... 
Yeah, but what tile do I need right now? Ow. Ow. Bro, this is so much different than when I had raiders. Oh my god. Raiders are just broken, huh? Raiders are just broken. They make the game so much easier. I need more frontline troops. We have this weed tile we can go for. I mean, I could. Be going down the Age of Iron. I could do also Age of Heroes. Oh. Oh. Uh, burial mounds. This is what we're not. Multi terrace mounds. Does that? Do they have to be work though? I don't know if they have to be worked or not. I do not know, actually. What I do want, though, now, is I want a clay pit and then another kiln. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So we got the right innovation. Okay. It works how intended. Burial mounds. You don't need to work them. Now these are giving me improvements. I'm now getting seven improvement a month. I mean a turn. I'm thinking you four terms a month. <laughs> I built a clay pit here. We're going to do another kiln so we can get more engineering points. More engineering points to buff our, our, our burial mounds. The tall play is real. What's not real is how hard it is for us to take the city. Okay, we'll get a general. It'll be better. China and Germany are at war. Okay. How, what units in the early age can we spam to get these cities? That's my question. Our for your forces are too close to our border. Okay, dude. Okay, buddy. Whatever you say. I'll move this guy here. This guy here. Bring this guy. And heal. Eel. 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 Actually, eel. 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 Yeah, the difficulty is... I'm definitely noticing the big jump in difficulty here, guys. This game feels like a lot harder now. Which is good, because I felt like it was too easy on the uh, on the middle difficulty. Good, you have to innovate to win. Heal, heal. Food stockpile done. Work camp, it gives engineering. That seems like an obvious choice. And the kiln. But now we need food. So we need to put one of our workers. Oh. 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 Now we're just healing. Next turn, not only do you get the next tier of mound builders, but if you use local forms for... I'm going to do local forms again. 
This this is different where I'm just spamming local reforms on our capital. Just psh, 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 spamming it. Yeah, mound builders are so expensive. That's like one problem with mound builders is that all of these are so expensive. 35 engineering points. I produce three a turn. It's okay. We'll be four a turn soon. <laughs> soon. One day. Oh. It was lower. I think it got nerfed, bro. I think mound builders got nerfed. I think mound builders got nerfed. Because I remember them being cheaper too when my older brother was doing this. In the demo. The question is, what bonus do we go for? Do we go for the sanitation? Probably the sanitation. Well, no, our capital isn't even big enough to need sanitation. Oh, we're producing four en uh, engineering a month now. 4.5. Okay, good. Oh, it's because we did local reforms. I don't think it's that one. Does my older brother stream? No. Yeah, bro. When I was playing, uh, doing, uh, when I was doing raiders, I was already halfway through my raider tree by now. Very different gameplay. Very, very different gameplay t today. Mount builders are tough to do. Right now. The, I think I'm going to do another play pit and another kiln. What bonus do we go for? Region level? I don't think so. Construction costs for farm improvements. Or three sanitation. I mean, I, maybe we just do the sanitation because it's taking so long to get stuff. The sanitation is good. We don't need sanitation yet. We finally got our first reform. I feel like at this point, I was already halfway done with the raiders. Just because raiders have um raiders get this right here plus one warfare xp from combat so if you're just fighting 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 you get so much more warfare xp that it helps you rush through this tree so much faster meanwhile mound builders we're here just chilling trying to get as much engineering as possible uh, possible using um using kilns i'm just spamming kilns right now but at least we get a lot of improvements thanks to the innovation that's a plus side and it's so hard to take the city. I'm now healing before we go again. But what's cool though is with this tall play style is that I'm going through tech a lot faster. As you notice, I'm going to be the first person in the Age of Iron. Um, I didn't do that when I was doing the other playthrough. And I'm also one difficulty up higher. Very good. Now we can rush the next government type on our next culture bonus. There we go. Age of Iron. We can use mine improvement gets 20 cost age of iron. Growth rate of population increased by 12.5. New governments unlocked. Dope. Um, we can do that in the next a uh, in the next uh, culture. We can change our government type. Um, one thing with the new research, there is a building that we can build that does produce it. We can also get another town. Let's see. Oven. I have to now look for it. Midden. I'm looking for a building that gives engineering, guys. <laughs> Furnace, I can't build that. Toolsmith. 
It requires ingots, which I don't have. I can't see anything that gives engineering, guys. I think I'll go for horses. It gives us... Um, oh, it doesn't make our width bigger. I thought it would. It just gives 20 warfare XP. But what it does give is influence in all regions, which is good when we're trying to go for a tall play style. Again, with this game, it's pretty important that you make your cities pretty far out from each other. Because eventually, with all the influence and towns, you they become huge. Your cities become huge. I'm going to try to take the city again. Hopefully this time it works. Oh, they're all weak. Oh, I got I did it. Okay, this one I'm going to vassalize. So we're going to vassalize this guy. We're going to heal these ones. We're going to heal in our territory and then we're going to we're going to take the pops from this one and then take this one and then Los Angeles. And then I think I'm done with cities for a while. If we take infra, we get mills. We build a mill and an oven. I need mills though. Where's mills? Cooking mill. Converts two wheat. You know what, actually, I'm going to go infrastructure for the town bonus, and then not only that, for the oven. Yeah, I'm a little wish-washy here, but it's because I haven't played this playstyle before. I'm learning here as I play the game. I'm a learner. I'm a learner, chat. I'm a learned man. I'm a learning man. Salvador. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Oh... Oh, oh, oh. Oi, 30 engineering XP. Let's go. We're gaming now. We're gaming now. Farm improvement minus 50. And I just used farm, actually. I, I'm Pepega. Can I undo that? It's turn 40. I can undo. Do -do -do. Oh, look. It's a bird chat. It's a bird. It's over there. Look. I was like, oh, I can make farms. But then I realized I already made the farms that I needed. Oh, I'm not going to get engineering XP now, though. Oh, I do. Oh. Hey, I just realized the name. The Learned Ones. I was just talking about learning. Wow, the game is listening to me. All right. We save for mound tradition level two town specialization that generates annotation per adjacent burial mound. Oh, we can specialize towns. I didn't even realize you could do this. Wait, what? Oh, we can't. Oh, okay. It's only for certain things. Okay. The undo button's right here, but you can't undo taking things. Yeah, I don't think this is useful. I honestly don't think that's useful. I don't know what we go for next. <laughs> 50 food needed per population. This is really good. I think we save for this. Capitals require half as much food per population. Yeah, that's that sounds really good. This sounds insane, actually. What am I thinking? And then look at chat. Axioms of Dominion. Yeah, he's saying the same thing. We need town level two to specialize. Okay, so we infrastructure will give us town levels. Oh, we need a dwelling. Okay. Um, I actually do need. I do need this tech. Officials I have a lot of exploration I can use. Oh, upgrade to a crossbow. Let's go. Okay, now we're gaming actually. These cities should be easy to take. I got crossbows. Let's go if this is easier. Archers stink. Crossbows are sick. Crossbow, my beloved. Yeah, crossbows are sick, guys. Crossbows are sick in the head. 
What? That's not what I meant to say. Oh. I need a mill. Oh man, I need so much. Okay, I see what the guy, the lady in IGN means now. Look at all the improvements. This isn't realistic. That's what IGN said. All right, the city, we're going to gain two pops. What does that do to my capital? My capital looks pretty overwhelmed. How are we doing on everything here? Okay, we're not doing bad. No one's working in the burial mounds. Not necessary. Oh, my cat's trying to leave. One second. Uh, huh. Okay, that makes sense. I was wondering why crossbows seem so strong, but according to the spiffing Brit, crossbows are bugged and do too much damage. That's interesting. Let's go snipe this really quickly so Egypt doesn't get it, and then we can take more pops to our capital. We're going to need a region level soon, though. No, we're fine. We're fine. We can uh, do 50. Yeah, we're fine. I see what you mean now with the influence start. I agree with you now. I'm going to upgrade a granary because we need food. I mean, Civic Monument could be good too. We'll do Granary Civic Monument. We do need one more tile. You know what? I Actually, I'm going to do Civic Monument first because we get... Uh, oh no, we're going to need to use the Culture Bonus. Ooh, we're going to need to use Culture Bonus on new government. Okay, so never mind then. Um, granary it is. I think this guy's hostile to me. That's a big mistake you made, buddy. Now you're dead.
production good we we need to expand more Still the same production, but we're now we're producing. Okay. Peaceful revolution time. This is why we didn't build settlers. Peaceful revolution. Imperial dynasty. Alhamdulillah. New ruler. They and house food. Okay, yeah. Food. And region level. Not necessary. Actually, you know what? Do, do this. Construct palace. Boom. Palace constructed. Einar's War. Good. Look, trying to convince people about influence being the correct starting place. So many pro tiers have decided culture is. I thought innovation was good, dude. Why are you so salty about it? <laughs> JTEC, why are you so salty, dude? Huh? Influence is definitely a good start. I'd say, though, if you're trying to min-max, it would be influence... Or starting scout meta. <laughs> Dude's so angry about it though, it seems. Alright, dude. If they think it's bad and you think it's good, that's good for you. Then you're a better player than them. There you go. Okay, gain more pops. Okay, now we're gaming. We have chaos though. But now we're gaming. Look how many pops we have. We have 12 pops in our capital. What? The AI's at 11? They're cheating, chat. Oh my god, they're cheating. There's no way. How are they all at 11? Okay, he's at 5. Oh, actually, I don't even see his capital. But we're producing, we're producing a lot here. Housing is going to be an issue very soon. Oh, we need influence. Oh, I need to get this tech so badly. I need to get the officials tech so badly. Chatters were right. I was left. I'm honestly quite surprised with the negative reviews, man. Why are the reviews so negative for this game? I read the IGN review, but it looked like she was playing badly. It genuinely, from my experience playing this game, looked like my first playthrough of the game. Her one playthrough looked like my first playthrough of this game that I like stopped playing like halfway through. I need the Civic Monument chat. And we're also going to need another dwelling. Oh, I could have done this. Undo. Oh, I messed up. Oh, it's okay. We got it. All right. Dwelling here. Farm here. Oh, I messed up. Ah, I messed up. I messed up again. Right, I need to think more before I do things. I'm not thinking right now. We'll do officials and we'll be fine. I made a mistake. I needed to make my... Um, I needed to make uh, the, the oven and the mill. Wait, you used to chat with her a lot? You know the game reviewers personally?
Yeah, I just played suboptimally right now, Toady. She's very active in the Paradox community. You know her too, Swallowbug? Palace plus one culture. Sure. Does everyone in chat, some winner, you know her too? Everyone just knows her? She's your sister? What? I'm just playing. I'm just making up chatter comments now. You are her? You know Luina too, Tony? She's your cousin? She's watching the stream right now? That's interesting. How do you guys all know her? What is going on? <gasps> That's not a big deal. That is actually not a big deal. I have units here already. Need a mill. And then we need... And then we're going to need a oven. Horses is next. I need more tech. I think our next building here is a temple. Oh my god, our production's insane in here. Our production's going crazy. Yeah, I was, I forgot that, you know, it doesn't really matter. Considering that we're literally just one city. Oh no! El Salvador! I think we're going to lose El Salvador, guys. Oh, we're fine. Oh, we're fine. Yeah, we're fine. Chaos event di diverted. Yeah, I, I was actually panicked a little bit because we did just get a chaos event, but I remembered we're only two cities. So it gave us two barbarians that we had to deal with. Problems already solved. <laughs> Easy, easy. Rush. That's the optimal play there. Town. This way. We're traveling this way. Oops. Yeah, I think we expand the city this way. We want to expand this way. I'm pretty sure. Down?
Oh, there's farmlands here. I need to be paying attention more. I'm not paying enough attention. I just made a big mistake. I'm going to go back f five turns. That was actually a big mistake. I don't get another turn, for, uh, another town for so long. It's actually better because I need grass. I forgot. I forgot you can only build burial mounds on grasslands. I thought you can build them on drylands, but you can't. Or scrublands. You cannot. You really have to focus. In this game. Really gotta focus. Good. No, you should not, Aratorus. If you're talking about U4, no, you should not. It doesn't make any sense to do that. Oh no, and we expanded the wrong way this time. Oh. Swallow bug, you stop trolling. Oh, thank you, Plague Crusader. Thank you for the follow, too. Oh, wait. Did it expand like that last time, too? I don't recall. I do not recall. We do not care. We do not care. I have a better idea, guys. I have a great idea, actually. I have an amazing idea. Okay. It's actually good that we stopped. Uh, what did I need here? I think we wanted more science, so... Temple it is. Oh, chat, I am so hungry today. I didn't wake up for suhoor. Suhoor is in Ramadan when you wake up before su the sun rises so you can eat. I didn't wake up. I just, I slept through my alarm or something. So I'm omega hungry right now. Omega hungry. It's fine. I'll live. It's only an hour and ten minutes left. Okay, now we got to the OP part of Mound Builders. 50% food needed per population. 50% less food. That's half as much. That's what a granary does in Civ 3. That's really good. That is really good. I have an idea here for this next culture that we build a, we get a mining, which gives us a pioneer. We use the pioneer to build an outpost right here. And then we use the culture bonus to integrate the town, making our city really big, really big. Passing is good. Yeah. 
I'm going to rush culture here. Wait, the question is though, if I if I hold on to my culture, does it stack up more culture for the next turn? Let's learn together. I'm going to save the game. Burial mound. Growing. <laughs> Finish the temple. Do more production. For production, that's a lot actually. Jeez. Already we're on turn 54. Big pop city. Ooh, I want to eat this city now. I will I will take Los Angeles. I'll take Adurne. This city I will just take as pops. Or maybe no. Oh, actually, look at all this stuff. This is a great city for burial mounds. Yeah, yeah, we take Los Angeles. And then we expand the city south. Yes, this is going to be good. Let's see if we keep the culture. Let's see. Um, Now, 14 pop city. Okay, that's really good information. This is what I was wondering. Um, So if you don't take your culture, let's say like right now, I'm not taking culture because I want to absorb an outpost, which uh, I have uh, this guy right here, right? We'll move together in case there's a barb. Um... But there's a lagger among us. Among us! I want to put this guy here. Yeah, there. And then we integrate using culture. And you know what? Might as well use Force March, dude. Oh, that doesn't work. You can't move. Ah, oh well. We learned a lesson there. Alright, time to get another city. A Derne. Turks and Chats. They're angry at me now. It's fine. Let them be angry. The city I take. All right, and then Los Angeles we take. Tanabe we integrate into our capital. Do that. True technology. Did not do the culture. All you do is just hover over it. By the way, You're wondering how I did that. And now we get horses. So next turn we build the outpost, and then we're gonna use our culture power to integrate the outpost to give us make us grow our city even faster. Boom, like that. So you see, like this, and. Absorb outpost. Boom. Huge city. Huge. All of this is part of the same city. We can now also build more burial mounds. More burial mounds. More. Oh, I can't build more. I didn't know that it was. You did not move. Oh. We can also buy iron using exploration, claim territory. Great. Coal. Why why can we see coal already? Like Minecraft. You can see coal already. Huh. Yes, but with Los Angeles, we're gonna take it and then we're gonna grow it to the right. We'll grow it to the right with towns and stuff. But this is the ideal way to play the game, I think, with like towns and stuff. I've, when I, going back to the IGN review, Liana, if you're watching this video or watching the stream, don't take it offensively, but from what I saw is you built your cities too close to each other. If you support with towns, you can have one city control a huge amount of land, which is not like civilization at all. It's very unique to this game. You can support a huge city by just using a bunch of towns. 
And I think that's intended because you'll have towns with names like Austin. Austin's a pretty major city, dude. This is not a city anymore. I mean, this is not a town anymore. This is a, this is a, this is a city, dude. Uh, mounds give culture if they're worked, but they also give improvements and sanitation. Do you want to, dude? You don't have to at me, bro. I love you, but you don't have to at me, my beloved. Do you want to save engineering? Welcome back, Bizu. That's my cat. Do you want to save engineering for the grassland expansion cost reduction, or do you want to make your new town level two forestry town and get bonuses from level three forest improvements? I told you last stream to at me? Seriously? I don't recall. This fast is getting to my head. Um, you specifically... Da, 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 da. Do you want to save engineering for the grassland expansion? This is a hard choice. I think I'm going to specialize my towns. Again, I have to make a choice that I don't know the answer to. And I don't know if it's the right play. Do we save engineering? To get regions faster into grasslands. We have so many grasslands that we can expand into here. So many grasslands that we can expand into. Or we can use our expansion to increase this town and specialize it. I'm going to save right here. I'm going to do the specialization. Let's look at the specializations because I haven't specialized towns yet. That's something that I haven't done. Band town. Specialize. Farming town. Farming town generates food per adjacent farming tile. There's only one here. Lumber town. Do do. Oh, maybe I should have expanded this and then done all the lumber here. Hmm. Farming town will only give one bonus here. A lumber town. Generates per production, so we'll give two. I don't have a plantation here, though, because I built a burial mound on grapes, which is good. Oof, I'm still deciding here. Is this game out? No. Comes out tomorrow. You could make a farm here. Make the city grow faster. If a, a lumber town here would be sick, right? I'm, I'm reloading. All right, I'm reloading. I've decided what I want to do. really got to think a lot in this game, dude. Like, you got to put a lot of thought into things. Oh. oh, I just saw this, too. Oh, baby. One production on Palace per every two population in the region. Yeah, baby. Oh, we're making a lot of hammers now. We're about to get even more. Sorry, not hammers. Production. Intensive. Okay, back to this. We're going to expand this town. <gasps> Why can't we expand it? Huh? It's already level two. Oh, well, no, that's not what I wanted. Oh my god. Wait, how's it already level two? I think we might be producing enough wood already for saw pit. How many logs are we producing? Five. Yeah, we can produce saw pits. We can do a saw pit right here. We can do a saw pit right here. 
It's three logs. I'm producing five logs. Oh, when you make a town from an outpost, it starts level two. Okay, yeah. So we make this a lumber town. And then we do we make all these foresters. Boom, 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 boom. That's going to produce a bunch more hammers here. And then we can also go here. One production here. We're gonna ma we're making so much production out of the city. This is gonna be so insane. We're already producing so much production. The tall play style is real, chat. It's real. Very cool. Very different than my last play. Last play I played very wide. Very different. But I do have to say that doing raiders into Khan is way easier than playing the game the way we're playing right now. Raiders into Khan, you just go and you invade everyone around you and destroy everyone. By this point, I already killed an AI. But with this, I have to think about every single decision so much. Uh, Green Forest Bear, I am releasing a video before Saturday. If you want to wait for that video for my full comprehensive um, playthrough. I have a playthrough video where I talk about the gameplay mechanics, things I like, things I do not like. I gave it an overall rating of a 7.1 out of 10. Which is pretty good. I think anything over a 7 is worth taking a look at if you have the money for it. It is also a $40 game. It's not a, like a $60 or $80 game. Um, I wish it was a little lower though, like $35 or $30. Um, but if you have the money, I would say it's worth checking out. If you have the disposable income, it's worth checking out. I already have, uh, I already have 33 hours in the game. Yeah, Raiders is broken. You're subscribed to the YouTube channel? Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm. You're going to notice a lot more just than EU4. I have a EU4 video coming out tomorrow. I have a VIC3 video coming out after that. Then the Millennia video. Then another EU4 MP video. So I'm still going to be doing a lot of EU4 videos. But I'll be honest. I do want to play other games. If you guys watched my VOD from last Friday. I'm getting a little tired from EU4 MP and dealing with certain characters. It's okay. It's normal to happen, you know, especially when you're playing with the same people all the time. How do you deal with late game lag in EU4? Have a better uh, RAM speed. I'm not even joking. RAM speed makes that game run way better. I don't know what RAM speed you have though. Maybe I'm wrong. But from my tests, I overclocked my RAM and the game late game runs faster. Okay, maybe we make both of these. <laughs> I'm spending so long on just this one turn. Maybe we make this also forest tile. I think we're just going to maximize it. I don't think we make this a farming city. Okay. This right here. Lum uh, farming town. No, no. Uh, lumber. Lumber town. This right here. We upgrade to level 2. Expand town. Lumber town. Lumber town. That's going to make us even more production in our... Ca oh, 32. 32. Okay. And then now we need to spend these foresters here. We can only get one next turn. Good, that's fine. We need to now keep moving our troops because we're going to continue our expansion over here. Yeah, I don't think we do farming towns. I was thinking maybe we do farming towns and do two farms here, but it doesn't make sense. Lumber towns, dude. More lumber here. More lumber! And we can do so many saw pits now. Oh, we can do two saw pits. After we do, we'll do, what we'll do is we'll build lumber town, lumber town, lumber town, then three saw pits. Oh, we're gonna be producing so much engineering chat. Yeah, you, <laughs> I, dude. If you want to play this game on easy mode, go Raiders Con, win the game by H five. Uh, but if you want to actually think about every single decision, play tall because. I'm playing this way slower than the other game. Way slower than my other playthrough. What's up, Pogba? You get XP from saw pits. You get, uh, you get engineering, yes, from saw pits. You need three logs. Right now, we're producing six logs, so we can do two saw pits. If we do log, log, 
Log, log, log. All of these logging. Log, log, log. We can just do mm, saw camps everywhere. I do need to build a mill. Oh, no, wait. We already built a mill, right? No, we didn't build a mill. We have six wheat. We need to do a mill. Mills, we can do three mills, which will produce six flour. Then we can do three ovens, and that's it. We're good on food. We don't need farms. Is it better than Civ? It's a different game entirely, bro. Well, it shares some similarities because they're both 4X games. Uh, saw pits give engineering XP, which we need for mound builders. I'm going to do this. Let's move our armies. Let's move our armies. Uh, the city will be fine. The, the, the city guard will protect the city. Like three city guards. It should be fine. This is just a warlord. The barbarians do get scary. I do have to say that. Alright, another, another forester. We're going to need also another mound here. For sanitation. Oh, we're at 61 production. We're at 61 production. We're not even done yet. Man, I've been maxing the production. Oh my god, the city is building crazily. What do we build now? Let's just build a crane for one more improvement. Why not? Because it builds in one turn. Uh, like I said, guys, for all the new viewers that are coming into the chat, I'm releasing a comprehensive video about this game from my first playthrough where I won the game. It's coming out before Saturday. I know I've repeated myself so much. I gave the game a 7.1 out of 10. And to me, anything above a 7 is worth checking out if you have the money. Anything above a 9 is you should get this game right now. Anything uh, ab 8, pretty good game. But above a 7, if you have the money and you have the time, worth checking out. I'm already almost at 40 hours in this game. I'm just going to ignore this warlord. Uh, I'm going to have to defend here, I think. City's growing. How's region level? Region level 7! I have to say that decisions making in this game is a lot more complicated than Civ. It's closer to decision making in a grand strategy game than it is to a si other 4X games. Okay. How much production we're at? 68. We're booming. Everything builds in one turn. Bro, it doesn't matter what I build. I'm just going to build everything so fast. Let's do town center for more government. This is insane. I'm actually gaming so hard. I will build another mound, I think. What does aqueduct do? More sanitation. Aqueduct is more sanitation, which we're going to need. We're at 140. But I was going to do another mound because we do have burial mounds. I was going to do another burial mound right here. Because that will give us three sanitation and then will also give us improvement. And also, if we get to five mounds, we can do the social fabric. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, bro. I have very good food rationing. Uh, because we're... we And we still haven't done the mill min-maxing yet. Oh, wait, our, our unrest is rising? Ooh, our unrest is rising. We need to watch. We need to watch. Unrest is rising. The city pop is too big. There's too many pops in here. Bro, I, I can't do this. I need to be Mexico. This is ruining my LARP. Oh, yeah. We could just do city guards. City guards are insane for unrest. I was doing that in my America game. Just spamming city guards. Good. 
and do a level two leader. Do this, this guy over here. And in turn. Oh no, two barbarians. We should be fine. I mean, if I lose a Derne, I lose a Derne, guys. It's only one pop. We can just go get it back. It's gonna ruin the prosperity of the city, but whatever. Uh, how's unrest? Okay, unrest is going down. Good. Go town center. More government. XP. You know what? Actually, you're right, dude. How many? Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, okay. So you can turn production into improvement, right? So we can improve faster, right? I do that. 45 per turn okay um we need to do this we need to do mound burial mound then we need to do a turn i, I think we're gonna build an aqueduct anyways though annotation's still kind of messy our city's growing pops Ooh, don't die don't die don't die how you doing how you doing Right, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. I think. Oh, we're not fine. We are so not fine. Uh, okay, I'll just quickly conquer Los Angeles. And then... And then we'll go back to Adirne. I'm producing so much food. Where are these barbarians coming from, dude? Okay. Um, we do want to build a mine here. We do also want to build uh, a sawmill. A saw pits. More saw pits. I'm going to build it on the grapes. I don't really care. That's going to boost our production to 6 or our engineering to 6. That doesn't sound right. We need the tech to remove forests. We also need scribes. So we can get religious scribes. Wait, where's religious scribes? Oh, it's in the next age. I need luxury goods. Furnace. I don't think even luxury goods exist at this age. I don't think they expect us to have the stuff at this age. Not yet. No, luxury goods we don't have. Need zero out of one. Next age, we're immediately going to need. Homeland Engineering XP. Yeah, I'll take that. It's just one. Okay, which research removes... We're going to need more research. I need scribes, I think. Scribe would give us more knowledge. Paper maker. And then we can use that to get more knowledge. Oh, camera died. Another option we can do arts and get an artist. Make artwork, which is a luxury good. Let's do that. I like that. I am I I need luxury goods. I need more science though.
I want to start clearing forests. We have too many forest tiles. What tech is that? It's not in this age, huh? You have to wait until the Age of Kings. I think we're good on this. I'm going to build a couple more units. I'm going to build some cavalry here. And then do local reforms. Because we can't build another town here. It's going to be insane. I'm going for a non-conquest victory this time, guys. Because I've already won conquest victory. We already won Age of Conquest and we won on Age 1... What turn did we win on? We won on Age 134. No, that's not right. It's not showing up. I won on like some one age. What other victories? I don't even know what the other victories are. I'll be completely honest. I don't know what the other victories are except for Conquest. This city's gonna fall, dude. I already feel it. Turn 150. I'm gonna do local reforms here. That's gonna make the city. <laughs> Did a local reforms culture on this city? 71 production. 54 food, 27 influence. The science is lacking though. Science is lacking, but there's not many buildings I can build. I need paper. I need uh I need scribes. I need scribes, I think. The scribes can boost our tech from the tiles, but I need more tiles. But then I need more towns and I need more influence. Oh, it didn't fall. The city didn't fall. BZ. It's not gonna fall. This city falls though. To us. And that's the city I eat. Uh, but this city down here... Oh no, he took it. The Russians took it. It's okay. Oh, I should have got this. Oh, that actually will save us. Oh, I just made a mistake. Gotta think. Stop making decisions without thinking, dude. Ah! This game, I gotta think so much. It's not like playing Raiders. I just don't turn brain off. Sorry, chat. I'm also a little scatterbrained because it's the last 40 minutes of my uh, fast. I'm fasting for Ramadan. Uh, sun, sun, sunset in 40 minutes. You can see right here. Oh look, dude! It's a, uh, it's uh, the building from the game, right there. Now everyone knows where I live. Uh oh, self doxing. Yeah, mound builders is very thought intensive. Play way to play the game. I have to think so much. No, we got this. We got this. Oh, Adurne did fall. It's okay. We can just go reconquer it. Not a big deal. And also, we're still building cavalry here. We can just build more cavalry. We can spam out some troops. I do want some more troops just because... Um, I don't want a random AIs just coming in and attacking me. And the AIs are very aggressive in this game. They are very aggressive. Even when it says they're not aggressive. You can see like this guy, he's careful. You can see their personalities. This guy's reserved. Okay. You build one dock on a non-fish tile in LA, you get a utility boat that can farm fish without using a worker slot in LA. You can spawn more of those boats with expiration XP.
but I can't, the problem is I can't improve unless I integrate LA. So I guess I integrate, LA is the next city I integrate. Honestly, LA is way better than Salvador. Look at all the resources LA and all the grasslands it has. So it makes sense that LA is the next city I integrate. I only have one city integrated. I need to get the city before AI snipes it. Is any of this worth? Do we just... Do we just save engineering XP and then do like the age four engineering thing? Since we're producing so much engineering XP. I don't know. The, like none of this seems worth region level capital. Maybe grasslands reduction is huge. Oh yeah, it is actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were just talking about that earlier. You're right. A logs problem. Not anymore. Lumber. Ooh, okay, alright. Now we get knowledge mandate. Now we're producing. Oh, now we're producing research. Now we're producing research. There we go. Uh, we have Greece going to the Age of Kings. Now we're gaming. Gaming gladiator. Right here. It's Civ if it was more min maxi. I truly feel this game is way more min maxi than any Civ game that I've played. At least when you're playing in this tall play style. I'm like, I'm keep repeating and like keep rethinking things because I'm like made a mistake. I don't even know what an envoy does, dude. What's the point of an envoy? To integrate va faster? Maybe that's worth. I mean, innovation is pretty good. I don't need the housing or sanitation. This is pretty good. Integrating LA could be really good as well. There's so much improvement here. government xp is needed i think i increased my power though spamming out those cavalry yeah i did get these guys to clear out this barb camp here if i die i die yeah i don't mind yeah Dang, we're producing so much engineering XP now. A 
aqueduct that is. Age of Kings? Oh, you guys are still hostile. That's one thing maybe I don't like, but you know, Civ games have the same problem most of the time. AI is just really aggressive. I don't think he's going to accept. I'm too weak still. I need to spam out units and then the AIs won't attack me. I mean, just compare yesterday's stream or the yesterday and Sunday stream. Wait, uh, Sunday and Saturday. Well, that, compare the American game to this game. I'm playing so much different. And the difference is I just picked a different domain. A different national spirit. It's so different. And that was just one change. Instead of doing raiders, I did mound builders. And now I'm playing the game so differently. It's actually insane. Yesterday, it was just like, okay, conquer, trying to take as many battles as possible, making vassals everywhere, killing AI before they got big. This one, I'm min-maxing every tile. Yeah, we do need to build a defensive army, though, because we're playing on hard. We're, we did up the difficulty. I think if I didn't up the difficulty, this would be a lot easier. I gotta say, the more I play this game, the more I enjoy it. I think I'm upping my, my rating from a 7.1 chat to a Bribes. Wait, aren't I supposed to get a... Aren't I supposed to get a... a artist? Oh, I need art. How do we get art, chat? Theater? Yeah, we need to build a theater for art. And then a plaza? For more art. Okay, we need to get... We need to get art XP now. Theater. Oh, there's also a Coliseum we can build. Warfare and culture. Intense suppression. I mean, we can build anything. Our production is so insane. I literally build everything in one turn right now. I have a 174? Bruh. I just realized how much uh, ha production we build. 174. What? <laughs> what? That is too much. It is turn 69. Oh, we do need to build another public quarters. We'll build it right here. But now we need to deal with the unrest. So we'll build a Colosseum and City Guard. No, that, that's overflow. There's no way that was base. No, 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 no. We make 136 base. <laughs> that's still crazy, no? I don't know. That sounds insane. None of my cities. I reached turn 150 and not one of my cities reached this production. Mound builders OP. Mound builders. What tech? I don't, it's, we don't have the tech yet. Okay. Okay. The IGN lady was right. It is a bit annoying that you can't clear forest tiles until Age of Kings. Or the fourth age.
It might be worth here going this next. Go straight. Destruction. Melting. Ooh, I shouldn't have rushed that, actually. Oh, actually, we can do local reforms. It's fine. We make money. Uh, I need an army in my capital. Unrest is going down. And Egypt just built a road to Adirne. Rome and Egypt are now at war. Okay. And AI declared hostilities because I don't have big enough of an army chat. money Any more camps you're wait you're not joking she actually oh okay let's see quickly what our capital max pop is 40 okay we i think we save engineering points i think in the next age i might do engineering again because we just produce so much engineering I mean, we still can house food, dude. We do want to get a spawn an artist. I'll see him incoming next plaza. Oh, we did the we did the coliseum. Okay, we're good on unrest in our capital. You know, what, actually, uh, we don't need city guard. Let's just go straight plaza. City guards are very good for reducing uh, unrest. I think I'm going to retire this guy. He's a level 1 leader and we're about to enter age 4. Yeah, I don't think we need the the region bonus yet though. We don't need the region bonus. What are we going to use the region bonus on? I'm honestly thinking of just integrating Los Angeles in 3 turns. I think we integrate Los Angeles. It's such a great city. Like, you know, Mexico is a great city. I'm still right now on one city. These are just vassals, Salvador, Adirne, Los Angeles. But I did use an envoy to make the integration of Los Angeles faster. I think I'm going to integrate Los Angeles as my next city. It's just such a great city for building. I don't like the Russian city that's right here. This was a neutral city that I wanted to take, but I didn't get it conquered fast enough. And Russia actually ended up conquering it. Um, but I wanted to turn that into pops for my homeland. Um, one thing we do need is we need paper and, but we need more logs, I think. Yeah, we need to make paper and some scribes to boost research, I think. Because we're still lacking in the research department. Oh. 
What does this mean? I think we're going to expand here soon. Streamer early access. I'm special. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry. That was kind of cringe. Um, but I am special. No, I'm just kidding. Um, okay. I think I might build more troops here, chat. Just so AI stops being hostile with me. It's kind of annoying. Green screen is messing up. Yeah, it always does this when the sun starts setting. I don't know why. I don't understand because the sun is behind here. How about no green screen? I think we're going to make paper now. All right, next step of our min-maxing extravaganza here. I think we're going to start making paper. We're going to start doing scri scribes, dude. I upped my rating out of 10 from 7.1 to 7.3 because, um, because of how different the play styles are. What are we missing for Age of Monuments? Um, I only have one civic monument, my brother. I only have one city. How would I do Age of Monuments, my friend? It would be sick, though. Age of Monuments would be sick. But I can't. Plus, Greece is already doing Age of Kings. I'm just going to the Age of uh, Kings right now. Because I want to get to the domains. The I want to get to the National Spears before other people do. So I, ha I have a boost. Yeah, I think I'm going to make paper. Making paper. And then... We have a grassland somewhere. Do you guys see empty grassland somewhere? No, it just hasn't updated yet. You need to do this. And then maybe it works? Hmm, interesting. That's uh, maybe a bug they need to fix. Oh, library. Yeah, I need that. Maybe we buy a land for the for the scribe. I want scribes because it's gonna boost our tech. Oh, Age of Monuments wasn't in the demo. Oh, you only had up to age three. I didn't know that. I didn't play the demo. Sorry, getting a text. I want to integrate this guy next turn. We can integrate. Good. Gonna retire this guy. Gonna retire generals. He's an age one general, so. I don't even know how he's still alive. 
He's been alive for thousands of years. How much will this game cost for US dollars? I'm not sponsored, by the way, guys. I'm not sponsored. Just FYI. I, and I got the game for free. Keep that in mind. I got the game for free. But I'm not sponsored. You know, when you're not conquering all the time, chaos, like, literally is not that big of a deal. <laughs> I do want to bring an army up here, though, just in case. Just to be safe. I'm playing defensively because we're doing, like, a tall style, right? Where do I even put my, my head when I don't have the green screen? Here? Maybe I do, like, here? No, but when I click on the tiles... Here? Maybe I do this. I do... No, I kind of like it without the green screen. I think over here, maybe. Make me smaller. Ooh, I'm smaller now. I think that's the best option. I think that's a pretty good so spot. Might as well get that since we're going to the production of units and turn. Okay, now integrating our second city, Los Angeles. Let's go. And then we do a dock. Boom. That gives us a workboat. I've never used a workboat before. Harvest goods. I think that's what we do. Let me save. I don't know, man. I don't know what I'm doing. Someone in chat is going to be like, I already replayed 50 hours of the game. You did not min-max correctly. I'm ready calling it. Someone in chat is going to... Someone, when I, this becomes an eventual YouTube video, because I do want to make more millennial YouTube content, someone's going to be like, um, you actually did not do it correctly. You did not min-max correctly. You harvest outside of your territory? Oh, you can harvest outside of your territory. Thank you, chatter. Greece and Russia and Greece are at war. Okay. Luckily, we're strong enough that the AIs aren't declaring war on us. We're also not being aggressive that the AIs are declaring war on us. Foreign import slot. I'm going to do the lookout for more exploration. Just so we can buy more tiles if we need. Because we are maxed out on tiles right now. And we cannot clear these until the next age. In the next age, Age of Kings, we can clear forests. We do not have to wait until the next age. Dugout canoe. Interesting. Okay, well, this does mean we can start min-maxing this city. What we do want is influence day one, though. Civic Monument. Pasture. It's gonna grow fast. That should be growing fast. Seafarers can do that. I want to try seafarers now. Mound builders are really cool though. <laughs> 100 what's the production on my capital oh we need uh, oh no 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 i didn't mean to do that uh what oh wait no i don't need that do that i think we need another mound What am I doing here? What did I just do? Doesn't work. Oh. And it's engineering? Wait, what is it? Bro, I didn't have Iftar yet. It's in 14 minutes. That's when stream ends. Actually, longer. 
Rayer times Los Angeles. 704 now. 709. 23 minutes left. That's how long I'm streaming, guys. I'm not cooking. Ah, man. I want kibbe so badly. What does Diplomacy XP even do? I don't know, but I'm going to build more troops here, guys. Eating hall. Los Angeles is already growing. You know what I want, dude? Kibineye. <laughs> Kibineye, bro? Oh, no. I didn't want that. Right, I'm going to... I'm going to claim territory. We'll go for a territory that we're not about to get. This one? It's a scrubland. Um, so, claim... Territory, and then I'm going to do another, uh, no, it needs to be a grassland. Up. It's okay. We can just make a midden. Fine. Uh, I would have preferred, how much does this give? It's three sanitations. One more sanitation. Yeah, we should keep improving here. We can do... We can do a mine here. We can do a fishing boat here. I've never tried Total War Warhammer, no. I'm gonna rush. And I'm gonna build a town. Actually, you know what, chat? I'm gonna do this. Pioneer. Pioneer to... Here? No. I near to here? I could do pioneer to here. What do you think? I near to here, make an outpost and then integrate the town. Then make another uh, log. I can destroy the city later, right? I kind of want to attack Russia and just destroy the city and make peace. What's Russia's strength? Oh, hard AI. Why are they building so much army? It, this probably is better, honestly. LA does need pops. It's growing fast, though. Can I destroy the city? I don't know. I want to destroy the city. I don't want this here. I might go to war just to destroy a city. Kind of like Civ 6. It's a 4x game. It's the same genre, bro. Yeah, I, I, I have it here. I don't really know what I'm doing here. I don't know what harvesting does. I'll be completely honest. Is it producing me more food? Yeah, I'm producing insane food. 
Mexico also is producing insane food. With only two farms, by the way. Three farms. Are we making flour yet? I don't even know if I'm making flour yet. I'm not even making flour yet. Culture, we're still waiting. Don't worry, it doesn't it, it overflows, guys. It it does overflow, yeah. Yeah, we we got two 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 nuts. What is this producing? One tuna? Yeah, we have two tunas. What do you think of this? Is this too much? Yeah, the, the mound builders minus 50 is insane. This right here is actually so insane. I think by the sea is better, but I kind of like this because it kind of cucks them. But yeah, this is better. You guys are right. I'm going to listen to chat. I do need to build more army though, because this is kind of scary that the AIs are getting so much power. It just, it just is a harder difficulty. We're playing on master difficulty, which is uh, the fourth difficulty. Or it goes, adept is the third, I think, and then master and then grandmaster. Yeah, this is the fourth difficulty. Yeah, that's a smart idea, actually. I'm not using my uh, warfare on anything. Our city grows larger. Yeah, Los Angeles, we want to grow down and right. Mexico is growing down and left. Well... All right, Age of Kings. This time, I'm thinking chat, machinery. Actually, I don't know if this is good. I'm just producing so much. I'm just producing so much engineering XP. I don't know. Why not? I can't really think of another domain to go. I don't want to go military. I want us to stay in the cities I have. Maybe I'll destroy some stuff. We can do spice merchants. I think machinery is good because we have so many logs. What is a clock tower? Building that generates luxury. Tile improvement that generates tools and machines. Unlocks trebuchets. I think we're going to go machinery chat. But w why does logs have anything to do with it? A uh, chatter says we have so many logs. I don't see anything here that m impacts logs. Iron Prospector turns hills into iron. We can turn all of this into iron. All of these. With the Iron Prospector. We can also turn this one into iron. Logs don't matter. Okay, yeah, no, but it, it does allow us... I think I'm going to just do machinery because it's what I'm producing the most of. It makes the most sense to go. Uh, I'm going to get the Iron Prospector right away. Where is he? This is the Iron Prospector right here, I think. Iron Prospector. We can turn this into iron right here, which is what I'll do because I would do want more iron. Uh, this guy right here will do this, and then we'll use our culture power to absorb outpost. Boom! Axopakan! And LA is growing fast. Oh, and I'm smelling the food, chat. I'm smelling the food. And we can make knights already. I'll save our mill XP for these knights. Boom, boom. 
Okay. And then I want the thing that re removes wood. Workshop logging camp. Oh, this is going to make our production insane. This is actually going to make our... Oh, this is going to make our production insane, dude. Is fishing town a thing? Coastal town. Close per adjacent boat improvement. Okay. Uh, I already know what I'm doing. That's going to make me so rich. Boom. Boom. Does dock count? No. And then coastal town. And we're making cash. Yeah, there's different ages. And you can unlock different ages. Like, we can get the age of conquest. We did that yesterday. We, we won yesterday on this age. And that's going to be a YouTube video. So keep your eyes on that if you're excited and you want more information about this game before you buy it. Check out my YouTube video. It's going to be about 45 minutes long. I have the editor working on that. I have an editor now. He does the variety content, which is awesome. And I focus on the EU4 content. Because I do want to branch out of EU4, guys. Um, age of Discovery, we can do docks. If we have a bunch of docks everywhere, we can do the Age of Discovery. I don't know what that is. Age of Intolerance doesn't matter. We do want to make our religion... Yeah, we need to... We need scribes. We need scribes. Um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to make... Really, our, our, our tech is really bad right now. Like, really bad. Our tech is omega bad. I'm just going to build all this. Just build every single building. We can do this. Oh. Dude, we can get 20 science a turn. Okay, wait, 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 chat, chat. Medieval University. We can turn our production into science. That's one production. I mean, that's 10 production, a science or knowledge. We make 216. That's 21 in knowledge, dude. That seems insane. Hey, Pyman. Where's Int? Ah, uh, dude. Yes, yes, where is the Int? Um, let's make scribes. I think, I think right now we, we want to make scribes. We can go to woodwork. No, we're ready making paper. I think we're ready making paper. We're ready making paper. So we can make scribes to boost our knowledge for now. A scribe. How are we doing on paper? Okay, a scribe uses one paper, I think. Yeah, it uses one paper. So we can do that. We can do another one because I do need the science. So... I'm gonna make another. Uh, I'm gonna make another paper here. Paper maker. Oh, we need more logs, but it's okay. We can make more logs here. Yep, and then we make another scribe here. Oh, I need more. Maybe it's time to start working on our burial mound so we make more culture. We'll work on three of our burial mounds. I do want to work on our scribes though. Where is the scribes? Where are you? Both scribes need to be worked on. Well, I only have one scribe right now. And we don't have any deficit of resources. Good. I live in, uh, where do you think I live? Based off of the light. Sun setting right now, though. A vassal has rebelled against us. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> okay, good thing I was already moving here. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We are fine, okay. Good thing I was already moving there. I was really... <gasps> oh, okay, okay, wait. We have troops there. We have troops there. Okay, okay, okay. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Plus one production from coal. Bro, I'm not working coal at all. We'll just go to, like, these. I'm going right. The iron prospector over here. We should be fine. Hopefully they suicide into our city.
Yeah, they suicided. Easy. Knights, finish them off. Good. Done. Here, I'll show you guys the combat. <laughs> look what the rebels look like. Ah, oh, rebellion. Ah, we're getting rebels. Ah. No, we're fine. Why do the rebels look like this? <laughs> <laughs> Easy. They're ninjas. <laughs> They're ninjas. Ninja revolt. <laughs> yeah, it's seven seven p.m. right now. Seven p.m. I'm in Los Angeles, West Coast USA. I'm right here, right Los Angeles. Okay. All right. All right. All right. More scribes. More scribes, chat. How are we doing on production? We need more paper. So we need the guy on paper maker. We need more logs. So we put another guy on forester. Good. The good thing is that once we get machines, we can produce it. But right now, we're really struggling with science. But once we get medieval university... Our science is going to be insane. Our science is going to be absolutely insane. I'm using every single tile, by the way. I want to push to here. Unlocks trebuchet. That's going to be interesting. Do we... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can get a guy off wheat. And then put him on the midden. Right now, I'm, I wasn't doing this in my USA game at all. I was just letting them do whatever. But right now, we're min-maxing super hard. Going to make our city growth. How uh, We can make the city 40 pop. How are the AI cities? 14, 15, 15. Okay, we're starting to eclipse the AI. Moscow is 17, though. Please. Please, Louise. We can build a farm here. We can actually do half-cost farms. Worth. I probably shouldn't have done that. There's a hair in my mouth. Does that break my fast chat? No, it doesn't. <laughs> as long as you don't swallow. Oh, we can also do this. Then we can get innovation and more culture. We have an innovation coming. I'm really interested in what innovation I'm going to get. But wait, what technology lets me clear forests? Can we not clear forests yet? She was right. The reviewer was right. IGN was right. <laughs> More nights. Our production is reduced, but that's because I started moving my pops around. Maybe another burial mound would be nice. Oh, it's, it's, it's age five. Yeah, well, we're in age four. One, two, three, four. Oh, it's the next age I can clear forest tiles. That's still kind of late, though. That's still kind of late. Uh... 
Oh wait, is it time? Who is she? Uh, the IGN released her. I've been memeing all day. I'm sorry, Lena. If you watch this video or watch this, I'm not. I don't have no hate towards you. Please don't take it like that. I'm just making jokes because uh, I read your review and I disagreed with it. IGN reported Lena something reviewed this game and gave it a 5 out of 10. Um, but when I looked at her screenshots, it looked like she was playing the game really badly. And she also um, said things that were not right. Like she said, you can only clear forest tiles in age 9. But I know that's wrong because I cleared forest tiles in one of my games before age 9. But I think it's time for me to go, chat. I think it's time for me to go. Uh, before I go, chat, I do want to say subscribing to me helps me make more content, chat. Helps me a lot. Um, and if you have Twitch Prime, it's not a crime. That's all I have to say. That's the only plug I have before I end stream. I had a lot of fun. We did a nice three-hour stream. We're going to continue this. I'll continue this either. I'm going to continue this game. Um, I don't see much difference to Civ. There is a bunch of differences to Civ. It looks very similar, but it's a 4X game. Good night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll probably play this before the Portugal game. Before or after. Can you give us a TLDR on what's unique? Yes, Minesweeper. I'm having a lot of fun. Um, a TLDR on what's unique. Uh, the city management is, I, in my opinion, a lot of fun. Resource management is very fun. The ages are very unique. Um, it makes the gameplay very different from age, uh, from gameplay to gameplay. If you don't believe me, watch my uh, VOD from yesterday. I was playing the game way different than I was today. And the only difference was instead of raiders, I went mound builders. And the game would be totally different if I went naturalists. And it would be totally different gameplay-wise if I did um, seafarers. Or if I did... Um, cons or crusades. The game changes very drastically depending on the national spirits you go and depending on the ages that you go, the game changes a lot. So it makes the game very replayable. Um, I, like I said, just so I can give finishing thoughts for all the people that didn't watch yesterday's stream, I am releasing a millennia video. It's going to come out before Saturday. The editor is already working on it. He said he's going to work on it all of tomorrow. So maybe we'll even come out on Wednesday. Um, but, um, where am I going with this? Uh, check that out. It's going to be a full comprehensive game. I won the game. I literally won yesterday. We won our first game. We won through conquest. Um, and I gave it a 7.1 out of 10 today though, after playing mound builders, I increased it to a 7.3 out of 10 next after this, I'm doing naturalist dude. I'm telling you, I'm already having so much more fun playing Mound Builders that I increased my rating from a 7.1 to 7.3. But I'm already very excited to try a Seafarers game. I'm very excited to try a Naturalist game. Maybe even an Olympian game or a God King game. I don't know. Warriors game could be interesting. And not only that, each, each like, so there's natural Seafarers on each, uh, every other age, two, four, six, eight. The game can change a lot, um, and I find that really interesting. And I'm really enjoying the min-maxing in this game. I feel that the min-maxing in this game is on a higher level to Civilization. Of course, people who uh, play Civilization might disagree with me, but that's just my opinion from a person that has multiple thousands of hours in Civilization, uh, multiple thousands of hours in Civ 3, not on Steam, but back in the day, multiple thousands of hours on Civ 5, not on Civ 6. I didn't enjoy Civ 6. I didn't enjoy Civ 6. You can see Civ 6, I have less than 200 hours. Civ 5, this is wrong because um, I used to play Civ 5 uh, not through Steam. But this is through Steam. So it's like a thousand something hours I have. We're playing Civ 3? No, I was just talking about it. I'm ending stream here. Bro, why are you still here? It's the star time. It's time for me to break my fast. There you go. That's a TLDR. I'll continue this tomorrow, guys. Tomorrow, I'm going to continue this. Tomorrow is also Portugal. We can look at the schedule together. Um, we have... Uh, we have... Tomorrow is the Portugal EU4 MP game. Um, 
I uh, I will continue this either before or after that game. If you want to get pinged when I am live, join my Discord, exclamation mark, Discord. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Subscribe if you want to support the content train. Support me as a content creator, and I'll see you guys later.